Good evening from the National Weather Service office in Lake Charles. I'm meteorologist Donald Jones, and this is your evening briefing for Tuesday, March 8th, on the flash flood and severe weather threat that continues across the area over the next couple of days. I want to start off by showing you, though, some of the wind speeds we've seen across the area this afternoon. Lake Charles has actually had 47 miles per hour, Beaumont at 46, Lafayette 31. Now, these are maximum wind speeds as we've gone throughout the day today. But at Tropical Storm Force, they've been causing quite a few issues across the area with some significant power outages. Uh, last check, in fact, we had about uh, 3,600 people without power across the Lake Charles area alone due to these very strong winds. And unfortunately, it looks like these winds are going to continue tonight and into tomorrow as well. So let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at that. These are actually the forecast wind speeds expected for Wednesday. And as you can see, the strongest winds are going to be near the coast across both southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. Wind speeds will be ranging anywhere from about 25 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts. Um, maybe not quite as high as we saw today across the area, but definitely uh, gusts up to about 40 miles per hour possible. As we go a little bit further north into central Louisiana, wind speeds aren't going to be quite as high, but still breezy, certainly, but with winds about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then parts of southeast Texas, Tyler, Jasper, and Newton County, again, pretty breezy, winds about 20, gusting to about 25 miles per hour. But I don't think that's going to be quite high enough to cause too much in the way of uh, significant power outages up that way. Um, but for areas further south along the I-10 corridor and along the coast, we will be looking at the potential for continued sporadic power outages as a result of these wind speeds. Now let's take a look at the observed rainfall today across the area and as you can see most of the rain fell across southeast Texas and extreme western Louisiana today. Looks like our highest rainfall totals were up in northern Jasper and Newton counties right at about three inches and then most other areas across southeast Texas got anywhere from about an inch and a half to two inches. And you can see the dramatic drop off in rainfall totals as you move from west to east with areas basically from Lake Charles eastward receiving very little to almost no rainfall today. And that was kind of expected. We weren't expecting too much in the way of rain across uh, central Louisiana today. That's not going to be until probably late tomorrow when we start to see some of the rainfall moving east into that area. But the rainfall will continue overnight tonight across southeast Texas and parts of southwest Louisiana, and we expect these rainfall totals to only increase. This is the look at the forecast rainfall totals as we head into Wednesday. And you can see, as I just mentioned, the largest rainfall totals across southeast Texas with up to five inches of additional rainfall possible. Now, this is on top of the rain that has already fallen today. This is just for tomorrow. We're anticipating up to five inches of rainfall across parts of southeast Texas. As we head into southwest Louisiana, those rainfall totals are going to be anywhere from about two to four inches. And then there's a pretty significant drop off once again as we go further east into central Louisiana into the Acadiana region with less than an inch expected Wednesday. And most of that is going to be during the late afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday. Okay, the Acadiana area is really not going to see significant rainfall, it looks like, until late Wednesday and into Thursday. This is a look at the latest forecast rainfall totals for the entire event all the way through Friday. And as you can see, uh, those totals have kind of been bumped up again and moved over into our region again with rainfall totals across southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana anywhere from about 8 to 10 inches altogether. Uh, areas a little bit further east across Acadiana, a little bit less at about 7 to 8. But still, very significant rainfall expected over the next couple of days that could lead to uh, some flash flooding. And as we've kind of mentioned over the last several days, all of this is being caused by an area of low pressure that's sitting across south Texas. And this low pressure is going to continue to sit across the area both Wednesday and Thursday and into Friday as well before finally pushing out of here it looks like on Saturday but as it continues to sit over this area the rainfall is going to persist. Now we had a tornado watch in effect across the area earlier today that has since been allowed to expire as of about 6 p.m. this evening and the severe weather threat has been fairly minimal as we've gone through the day today in fact uh, I think we only issued one tornado warning and that was for extreme northwestern Vernon Parish today, and we never did receive any reports of anything in response to that. So the severe weather threat within thunderstorms has been pretty minimal throughout the day today. Now we expect that to kind of change a little bit tomorrow. We're expecting a little more in the way of severe weather potential 
for tomorrow. So we anticipate that another tornado watch will probably be issued for most, if not all, of our area tomorrow, in addition to having to deal with all of that rainfall. And as you can see here, the area has been highlighted in a slight risk for severe weather as it has been for the last couple of days. And a slight risk means, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, that isolated intense storms are, are possible, which could result in one or two tornadoes and strong winds. So as a result of all of the significant rain we're expected to see over the next few days, a flash flood watch has been issued for all of southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana until 6 a.m. on Thursday. Now, we anticipate that the flash flood watch will probably be extended further east into central Louisiana and the Acadiana area probably sometime tomorrow, and that's only because the very heavy rainfall is expected to be a little later getting into that area. But the flash flooding threat pretty much exists across the entire area, and so we do have a flash flood watch in effect until Thursday morning. And a flash flood watch pretty much means that conditions are favorable for flash flooding to develop, very similar to the way a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop. So we are anticipating some flash flooding in the areas you see highlighted here tomorrow and Thursday. We've also got a coastal flood warning and advisory in effect until 6 a.m. on Thursday. And you can see the coastal flood warning there is highlighted in the dark green, whereas the coastal flood advisories are highlighted in the light green. Now the difference between the two is that a coastal flood warning means that coastal flooding that could cause a risk to life and property is expected, whereas a coastal flood advisory means more of a nuisance type flooding that could potentially you know, cause some minor damage to property, but it's not really expected to be life-threatening. So the coastal flood warning obviously is the more significant warning, and that is in effect for all of our coastal areas until 6 a.m. on Thursday. We also, obviously, considering uh, all of the very strong winds that we've had, we have a wind advisory in effect across the area, and that's going to be in effect until 6 p.m. on Wednesday. So it looks like by Wednesday afternoon we'll finally start to see some of these winds die down, but until that time we're still going to be dealing with winds of about 25 to 30 miles per hour gusting to as high as about 40, very similar to what we've seen today. And on a related note, we also have a gale warning in effect for our offshore waters, and that's in effect also until 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Obviously, you don't want to be out on the water in this kind of a situation where we have winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour even offshore. It's very similar to what we'd experience almost in a tropical storm. So certainly if you're in a small vessel, you don't want to be offshore over the next couple of days. And as we mentioned over the last couple of days, we were looking at the possibility of some closures of some schools, and the school boards have made some decisions this evening with regard to that, and they're listed here. All Calcasieu Parish Public Schools have been closed on Wednesday, as well as all Cameron Parish Public Schools. The Diocese of Lake Charles has closed their schools, as has Bishop Nolan. Hamilton Christian Academy is closed, McNeese State University, Sowella, Delta Tech, and Lake Charles Charter Schools are all closed on Wednesday. Now, as far as we know, at least as of this recording, all other schools across the region will be open tomorrow. It's only the schools listed here, at least at present, that uh, are closed as far as we know. So taking a look at the expected impacts across the area, obviously we've already seen some power outage associated with these very strong winds, and that could continue tomorrow as we continue to see some very gusty winds across the area. Flash flooding also expected to be a concern tomorrow and Thursday, and that could result in some closed roadways and could threaten homes in more serious situations. Also, we have the possibility of river flooding and coastal flooding, which could threaten homes and property tomorrow and Thursday. So to summarize, we're looking for about 2 to 5 inches of rain expected across the area on Wednesday, with the highest totals being across southeast Texas. Rainfall totals of 7 to 10 inches are expected across the area through Friday, and again, the bullseye for the highest rainfall is expected to be across southeast Texas. The tornado watch for this evening has expired, but severe weather will still be possible on Wednesday, and we expect another tornado watch will be issued either late tonight or tomorrow morning with regards to that. And as I mentioned already, winds will remain very high Wednesday out of the southeast at 25 to 30 miles per hour, gusting as high as 40, which could, again, lead to some sporadic power outages. Taking a quick look at the seven-day forecast, it looks like uh, once we get this activity out of here, the rain will finally end 
it looks like in time, at least for the latter half of the weekend. So the weekend itself doesn't look too bad. We may see a little bit in the way of lingering showers on Saturday morning. But uh, for the most part, the weekend's not looking too bad. So once we get through this mess, our, our reward will be a rather nice weekend. And we'll continue to keep you updated through our social media accounts on Facebook and Twitter as the need arises over the next couple of days. Have a great evening.